We'll now get started on customizing your menu for your website. Navigate over to the left-hand column on your WordPress dashboard, hover over Appearance and click on Menus. To create a new menu, if you don't already have a menu, um, which you probably don't if this is a brand new website for you, uh, you're gonna create a new menu. So click here to create a new menu. I usually like to name my main menus main, um, but I'm gonna make, name it main too because I already have a main menu in here. But put in the name of your menu and click create menu. Once your menu has been created, you're gonna come over here to this left-hand side and you're gonna add in all of the pages that you want um, to be in your main navigation bar, your main menu. So click on this view all button. And this will, uh, you want to do this after you've published all of the pages uh, that you've been working on and they're all ready to go because they won't show up on this area if they're only drafts and you haven't hit uh, publish. So if you're not seeing a page that you know you've already completed, head over to your pages and just make sure to publish that page um, so that it shows up here in your menu. So to add the pages to your main menu, you just click all the pages that you want. and click add to menu. Now, if you remember when we were going over some of the elements within the website, there are some areas in your website that have those little hashtags at the end that when a um, site visitor clicks on uh, something within the, the menu on your website, it drops it down to that specific area on the page. The way to add in those areas to be clicked on in your menu is you're going to do the custom links option. So let's to get the if you don't already remember the hashtag that was used or the pound symbol that was used as the identifier, what you can do is go to that page um, and open that up. So we have two areas I know offhand, uh, the testimonials and um, the Frequently asked questions are both, they're not their own page, so they won't be in that pages area, but they have that identifier so that you can actually click on it and, and um, be dropped down to it. So if you want to add the custom link, what you're going to do is you're going to put in, in this custom link area, your website, so HTTPS colon slash slash your website. Don't copy this one because this is my website. So .com slash, and then the FAQ, I believe, is on the services page. So we would put in slash services. So your website knows to go to the services page. And then the pound symbol FAQ so that it knows to drop down to this frequently asked questions section. So once you've done that, you'll put in the title of the menu item there. And let's do that again for the testimonial. So we'll put in your website. Again, don't copy this because this is my website, .com slash home because it's on the home page, the testimonial section. And see, I'll click testimonials. And what it'll do is it will drop down to this testimonial section here. So, and you'll see right here up in the address bar, it's the web, my website slash, and then slash home. So you don't have to put home, but hashtag testimonials. You can put the home. Let's see. Slash. Hashtag, pound symbol, testimonials. And then you can put testimonials here and then add to menu. So once you've added everything in um, that you want added into your main menu structure, what you're going to do is um, you can readjust the hierarchy here. So I want to put the services page here. If it drags over and becomes a sub item, what that's going to do is it's going to create a drop down menu. See, in, in here, there is no drop downs. When you hover over each menu item, it's, its own. It's called a parent menu item. 
Uh, if there was a sub item, a child item to the parent item, it would uh, hover over and it would drop down, but we don't have any of those. If you wanted that, you could certainly do that. And that's the way to do it. So you can drag it over like that. So home services, get started. FAQ. So once you've created the hierarchy, you've uh, organized it the way that you want to, scroll down here, click on primary menu so that your website knows this is your main menu and click save menu. Now, once that is done, what you're gonna do to make sure that your menu is set, and this is something that we went over in the theme builder, is we are going to go to the theme builder and we're gonna make sure that our menu item is set. So go to the global header. Once your theme builder is open, we are going to hover over this menu, click the gear icon, and we're gonna select the menu that we just created. So make it main to, and there it is. So once you've done that, just make sure to click the save button and click save here. Click the exit button and make sure to click all changes saved. And that is how to create your menu item. So once that's done, you will be able to test it out and it'll take you to the pages that you just created. And then let's also test out FAQ. So this is one of those hashtag items. See, it took us to the services page and it dropped us all the way down here to the FAQ section. Now you can add um, a hashtag or a pound symbol into any area that you want to create a menu item for by just um, going into that section and adding that identifier in under the CSS ID under that advanced section in any area that you would like to. Just make sure to make note of what you're creating so that when it's time to create the menu, you do remember what identifiers you use. So that is how you create the menu.